Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com. And today I'm here to talk about a new gift idea in our 30-day series. Now what, I have two helpers today. They're just going to be here maybe for the intro video. I don't know if they're going to be here for the sewing. But what are your guys' preciousest names? Patrick and Caden. Oh, you and then Caden do his This is Caden and Gosh. What? Okay. So these are my pals here. How old are you guys? Four. And uh, this Caden's two. Caden, how old are you? Two. 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 And then, and then four. And both of them know how to talk. Caden knows how to talk too. If you weren't aware. Anyways. So today we're going to be talking about how to make some easy tote bags for library books. And I've got a couple fabrics here. We're actually ma I'm making these for my boys because I always carry all the library books. So they're each going to get their own tote with special fabric. So let's talk now about what kind of supplies we're going to need. First of all, you're gonna, I'm going to put all the, the measurements for the cuts of fabric up on my blog. Um, again, that's DIYDanielle.com. So if you need the measurements, go there. We're going to need a few different things. We're going to need an exterior fabric. And in this case, I used um, planes. And I also have some Doctor Who one for big guy over here. I've got a liner fabric. I just used a sturdy white fabric that I had um, sitting in my fabric stash. And I'm also using some sort of, um, you want to use some sort of liner for your bag. Um, this is a nice, thick, fusible fleece. And I'm going to iron it on. To my um, <laughs> to my uh, my fabric before I start sewing. So you're also gonna want to cut some fabric for your handles. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So I cut um, this right here. Each of my handles gonna be here. This white fabric is pretty thick, and actually the blue fabrics I'm gonna be using are pretty thick as well. So I am not going to add a, um, a liner, but if you want to make it a little more sturdy, particularly if you're using a thinner type fabric, you might want to add one. So, alrighty guys, let's get started. I'm going to show you a quick video of me cutting, and um, we're going to iron, again, the interfacing, or uh, the liner on the feasible fleece on, and uh, we'll make our, we'll sew our bag. This is, this is a pretty simple sewing project, actually. Um, you'll appreciate this if you're newer to sewing. And um, I'm going to serge my my handles together because it's faster. But you can definitely sew them right sides together. Turn them right sides out. Leaving, you know, you'd left, you leave a little hole. You turn it right sides out and then you top stitch. That works just as well. Um, I'm going with serging for speed. But you don't have to do that. Especially if you don't have a serger. If you don't have a serger yet, then you should get one. I'm going to like... You know, put in lots of plugs for sergers because I really love them. Um, but, alrighty guys, we're ready to get started. Cut your outer fabric, your inner fabric, and your inner facing, as well as some fabric for the straps. Iron on your fusible fleece lining. Okay guys, so I'm going to start out with um, serging my straps. Now you might want to pin these. I'm not going to... Um, okay, so because I'm serging, they're going to be right sides out. If you are doing the turn and top stitch method, you're going to want to face them right sides together. Sew all the way around with a with a straight stitch. Leave a small opening. Turn it through that so your right um, your correct side of fabric is facing outwards. After that, you can iron it down and then you top stitch it. Um, that's a really good method too. Again, the serger I have it. I like serging them. Um, and uh, it's a little bit faster for me today, which is what I'm going for. Now, I did two different things. For one bag, I actually just cut one long strip of fabric, and then for that one, I'll just sew along the bottom and the side, one side, and leave the top open. For the other one, I actually, um, cut two separate pieces of fabric for either side. So I'll have to show you each one. It's a little bit different, but not really. I mean, you kind of get the right, you probably have the right idea. Um, I think Rob Popper, we're going to work. <laughs> we're going to face him right sides together. 
And we're just going to stitch up each side. Okay, now I'm going to go do the same thing for the liner. She did a good job. Okay, so now you're going to take your liner, you're going to turn it right sides out. Again, making sure you caught both your seams. And you can tuck it inside your back, your um, your exterior fabric. My bag ready, my bag ready. Your bag isn't ready yet, my love, but it's almost ready. Are you excited to give it a try? Yeah. So basically what you have is you have right side of fabric with the interior facing the right sides of the fabric with the exterior. Now we're going to go around, don't wiggle the um, camera honey, you're going to have the best little library bag aren't you? Are you super excited? Um, so now we're going to go around and we're going to sew the two bags together but we want to leave a small opening to turn in top stitch. So. Um, so, I don't know if you could see, but this is where we started, and this is where I'm at now. I'm going to leave this open and just back stitch a little. Okay, and I'm leaving that open so I can turn. So, we sewed all the way around. We left our area to turn in top stitch. We're just going to pull it through. This is going to be kind of a weird process. So, you're pulling your interior fabric through. which you'll then follow up with pulling your exterior fabric through. You see how this is going here? I don't know if you can tell from the picture. So here we are. We have our, our bag exterior, which is nice and fluffy thanks to the, the liner. And here is our exterior of the bag. You know what we're going to do with that? We're going to just tuck it inside. So, um, we just tuck it inside the bag. So now we have our liner all together. Sorry. Okay. So as you can see, our final part of the project is going to be close up the hole. The hole. So, I'm actually just going to do a nice little top stitch around. All the way, of course, because you can't just top stitch one area. That would look lame. So you're gonna top stitch all the way around here. You could iron this if you want first. It might give you a little bit more of a finished look. Um, I uh, have a little person that's really excited for this behind me, so I'm just gonna go on. Now, Kaden, once you get this, am I gonna give this to you? Are you gonna? Are you going to go put some books in it, some library books? Yeah! you put all your library books in there? Oh. Okie dokie. Yeah. So, the bag is finished. So now I want to take my handles. Move back to the handles. Um, here we have some handles. Another one. Let's see how that goes. I may, um, I may sew them on the inside, seeing they're not the perfect match for that blue. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to do a little straight stitch around. So, that's what it looks like. It's looking a little messier on the outside. I just have some loose threads here. But you'll see I have a nice little X here. X marks the spot. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to go along and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then attach my other one on this side. Okay, so the only thing different about the Doctor Who fabric is that we have, um, I cut two separate um, cuts of fabric. So what we're going to do is we're going to line those up right sides together. We're just going to sew along three of the sides, leaving the top open, of course. So we're going to do the same thing with that and the, um, the liner as well, of course. 
So it's pretty, I mean, nothing crazy here. Okay, guys, we're finished. That's all there was to it. Really quick project. And I think maybe probably each one without video, videoing would have taken me about 20 minutes. Um, here's our Doctor Who version. And, oops, here's our plans version. And obviously we have a library book in there already. So I hope you guys enjoy. Show me your pictures. You can post them on the show and tell page on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Don't forget to subscribe to both my YouTube channel and my um, email subscription list so that you don't miss any projects. So um, thanks so much for visiting. I hope you guys make this. It's a lot of fun. They're great gifts. Um, I think lots of kids um, could use their own bags. And uh, they always like the custom fabrics, you know. You know, just something they love, whether it be Mickey Mouse or planes or Doctor Who, whatever you want to do. So, thanks so much, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. Let me start over. That's it. Whoosh. Okay. Cut. 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 Okay, we're going to start over.